guys welcome back to my channel so this morning i was walking out in my garden checking everything out and just relaxing and i came back to my vegetable garden area and i noticed that on my rhubarb plant i had a large stalk with like a flower bulb forming on the top i've never seen something like that so i was like oh i wonder if rhubarb flowers <laughs> that's so interesting so I did a little research and I figured I would give you the information as well if you are ever curious. I planted this rhubarb plant last year and it was just a little guy. Planted this in this area, it took off and it had a wonderful season of growing. I harvested and I froze the stems from this. But this year I had something new pop up, which is this flower looking bulb thing. I was so confused because I had never seen something like this on a rhubarb plant before. Well, come to find out, this is a flower, but it is a seed pod as well. So this is what makes new rhubarb plants. I first thought, oh, if it does flower, I might as well just allow it to do its thing. But then I did some research on it and I discovered that if you do start seeing um, this pop up or many other stalks pop up in your rhubarb plant, you need to cut them ASAP. If it's not cut, basically what it's going to do is harbor all of its energy into producing the seeds and it is not going to allow new stalks to grow and your plant will dwindle. So that is why it needs to be cut. Now if you do like um, rhubarb not for eating but you like the look of it with the beautiful large leaves then you can leave it and let it flower and do its thing. I am about to cut this but what was interesting to me is um, when I was reading on it it said to cut as low down to the stalk as you possibly can so I'm going to take my pruners and get right down in there and cut as low as possible. If you don't it will um, more than likely attract pests, uh, slugs, and diseases to the plant. And it also looks like I need to come out here and spray a little neem oil on this plant. <laughs> Lovely. It's never ending. So I just went ahead and got right down as far as I could and gave it a nice good cut. And it's actually really pretty. I saw some people posting that they have multiple stems that come up. They cut them all and put them in beautiful vases. That would be really cool and would add a lot of cool texture. I just noticed another stalk in this rhubarb plant. Um, I did read that multiple stalks can come up. I think I mentioned that already, but I just thought that was the only one. But now that I'm digging in here, I can see another. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that little bulb right there, it's not flowering yet, um, but I'm going to cut that one as well. I hope you guys found this video very interesting. I know I did. It is windy, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, I did not know this. So it's just cool learning new things. Even if you've been gardening for years, maybe this is a new plant that you have never planted before, so you just don't know. So do your research, look up a YouTube video, and uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.